Hey everyone, it is Caleb and welcome to your Python programming tutorial series. I am your host and what in the world are we going to be covering for the next a quadrillion videos? Well, pretty much I want you to become fluent in Python programming. So if you're just starting out, you're completely brand new and you need to take things a little slower, then I have a beginner Python programming series. This, we're gonna cover some of those basics again. However, we're gonna go in a lot more depth. So for example, for the first section of the series, we're gonna deep dive lists, understand how to work with them, including nested lists and loops and all of these different things you need to know how to do. And from there, we're gonna move on into the other data structures in Python. So we're gonna talk about dictionaries and so forth. And then hopefully we'll get into object-oriented programming and building out some pretty cool apps. My approach here on YouTube is fairly simple. If you've seen in my other videos, you probably know, I try not to type anything that we do not comprehend. I want you to understand why we are typing stuff and not just what to type. I don't want you copying, pasting stuff from this video. By the end of this, I want you to have a better understanding. And with that, my expectation is that you're gonna be typing out the examples and following along, or you're probably not gonna be learning a whole lot. But maybe I'm getting a little bit too into the weeds. Let's just back it up. How do we even get started? And what even in the world is Python? And why would I wanna use it? Well, Python is a programming language, first off. And it's one of the most simple programming languages to get started with, but it's not limited in its power. Its power level is equal to or stronger than all the other programming languages out there. Python is a great language to learn programming principles and data structures and algorithms as well, just because of its really simple syntax and also intuitive way of working with it. If you're coming from another programming language, you'll probably pick it up just fine and be like, hey, this is pretty easy, but there's various approaches that are radically different than the other programming languages out there. To get started, you can go to python.org and you can go into downloads and get it for whatever operating system you're on. I'm on Mac, but if you're on Windows, you should be able to follow along pretty simple. Additionally, there's gonna be tons of code samples up on my GitHub account, github.com forward slash Caleb Curry forward slash Python. So the beginner Python, that was my previous series, and now we are in Python. So this is going to start with lists and I'm still working through all of the content. So leave suggestions for the upcoming content, but I pretty much have a good idea of what I wanna cover. So you can go into any single one of these and you can get tons and tons of examples of what we've been going through in these videos. So you can copy and paste those, use them in your code or just tinker with them to try to understand them, whatever you need to do. Now, when you install Python, you can open it in this thing it comes with called the idle, which allows you to evaluate expressions on the fly. So for example, I could say five plus five and it'll return the value 10. So if you're just learning and you wanna test stuff out, this is a great way to do it. But there's also another alternative and that is to use a text editor and actually build out Python files. That's my preference. If you're coming from another programming language, maybe that's what you're more familiar with or more comfortable with. And that's probably what I would recommend if you're trying to do anything really complex. So for that, I'm gonna be using Visual Studio Code. You can download it on the internet. And when you run it, it's gonna look something like this. And there's an extension in here called Python, crazy name, am I right? And this will allow you to run your Python code in the terminal. 